In this video, we're going to take a look at the OpenBazaar settings. To get to the settings in the app, you're just going to go to the upper right hand corner to the menu there and click settings. Now, I'm not going to go over every single one of these things in detail because a lot of them are fairly self explanatory, but there will be a few I'm just going to kind of go into a, a little bit of detail just to make sure everybody understands and uh, that we're all on the same page. So, you start off on the general tab of several tabs here in the settings. Now most of what you're seeing in the general tab is a lot of the same information that you were asked when you first ran the program, like your language, the country, the display, currency, and that sort of thing. And the couple other options that you did not have before is you have an option for a Bitcoin address. You're gonna to wanna to basically put paste in a Bitcoin address. It's so that you receive funds uh, if you get paid, like you're selling something, for example, or you need a refund, it would go to the address that you provide here. Notifications. Uh, this allows you to get notifications uh, about sales or what have you, people following you and that sort of thing. And you've got your not safe for work option. Page. This allows you to kind of change and further customize your home page and your profile. So. When I set up my store, it actually changed my name from Doctor Who fan to Doctor Who memorabilia. That's fine. I'm just going to leave it like that. Now the handle in the next line down, that is, uh, it's like a nickname that is, makes it easier for people to find you. And I'm actually going to record an entire separate lesson on that because to be able to use the handle, you actually need to create an account, a free account on a particular website, onename.com. And there's a few steps involved, so I want to actually to cover that separately and I'll, I'm going to record a video at another time for that. Short description and, and this is all a lot of the stuff you've already seen and you can update your avatar, your picture if you want to and then down here we have some information we haven't seen yet and this is social uh, links and things like that and this is all pretty self-explanatory. If you have a website um, you're going to want to put it in there, the website address, if you've got an email address you want to use, this is uh, probably kind of important, uh, at least if you're going to be selling something, you might want to put an email address in. Uh, keep in mind that this will display publicly on your profile, so that keep that in mind. Facebook profile and, uh, and, other, and so forth. So about, that's just the description, you've got your basic standard themes that we saw before and my customizations that I've made, and down here like the color schemes I made changes, and these are the uh, color codes that rec represent the colors that I picked. And then if we go on to the store tab, this is only really relevant if you're actually selling things and it will be turned off if you haven't set a store up. And this allows you to remove moderators if you don't want to use one of the ones that you've got. You can view details about them and you can also add new moderators uh, as they become more available. Addresses, this is for your physical mailing address. Again, that's mostly really relevant if you're selling things. You can block people in this, and this would give you a list of people you're blocking. You can act as a moderator here and turn this on and then choose a service fee like 2%, for example. I'm gonna leave this off for the moment. And then you've got advanced, and these are things you're generally not going to want to fool with. Uh, the one thing that you might want to, uh, I should probably point out a couple things actually though, disable visual effects. This is, most people won't need to worry about this, but if you have an older or slower computer, you're just trying to res res sort of conserve resources, then you can sit, hey, hit yes, and it just kind of turns off some of the bells and whistles in terms of how it looks. Doesn't that really affect how it works though? Server settings, you probably don't want to fool with that in most cases. We might look at that at some other point and shut down the server. Uh, this is basically, there is a program that's running in the background right now and it allows people to connect to my store and if I wanted to shut it down, I would hit that button. And once you've gone through and you made all the changes you need and you want, just hit save changes and then you can get back to your home page with that home, the my page button.